Hello there, welcome to this video. This is a quick unboxing of the KK Moon H264 network video recorder, DVR recorder. This is a CCTV recording unit. This is the version without a hard drive and it's the 16 channel variant. Purchased from Amazon in the UK. It says on the box here, supports multi-language on-screen display or on-screen display display. Motion detection recording and email alert. Supports VJ output and HD outputs at the same time, so it has HDMI and VGA video out. Dual encoding streams for local view and online remote view, so you can get an app on your phone and view this and multiple other things. H.264 video compression, higher definition image and lower bit rates. And a peer-to-peer -peer cloud function for mobile devices and remote view from anywhere at any time. So there's an app, um, I think it's called XMI, you put it on your iPhone or Android phone or whatever off the store you can scan a code that this will display on the screen and it will pair them and then you can view stuff over Wi-Fi on your phone and if you want to view them over the internet you can also do port forwarding and do it that way as well but that does require additional setup so on the side of the box here we've just got the type not filled in and we've got a 16 channel version Typical uh, Chinese translation job going on here. The back of the box is exactly the same as the front, but it's got a big gash in it. Probably where I opened it. We'll just pop these tabs out and look what's inside. So first of all, there's a big uh, bubble-packed recorder unit. We'll put that to one side. And down the side, we've got a box of accessories. So in here, we've got a USB computer mouse for controlling the unit if you've not already got one, a bag of screws and a connector block for the PTZ control I believe that is. These are for mounting the hard drive and screwing the casing on. We've got a little remote control and we've got the power supply for the unit which is... 12 volts at 2 amps, 12 volts DC. The positive is in the center. So let's look at the unit now. So, the unit itself comes packed in this bubble padded thing. We can pop that open. So, in this bag, we've got a little CD, which no doubt will contain PC software for viewing it on your computer. We've also got a little operation guide, quick guide. Which I don't think is just for the system because it shows the front panel and this one does not have uh, the buttons and things on the front. This is the version without. So this is just a generic instruction manual. Here's the unit itself. So we'll take this plastic front off. So we can see it's got a glossy front under here. It's got a power light, a record light, and an IR receiver for the remote. I'm just gonna stick this back down for the moment because this is for an installation. On the back, we've got a whole load of BNC video connectors. So these are all the inputs: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. We've got audio out. We've got HDMI video out, we've got VGA video out here, we've got audio in 1 and 2, we've got that control connector there, DC 12 volts power in, two USB 2 ports and an RJ45 Ethernet port. So I'm going to quickly put the hard drive in this unit now, we can see on the bottom there we've got the model number as well. But yeah, let's uh, get the hard drive installed. It just screws in here. So to do so, we need to remove the screws from here. And the other side, we've got two screws in it also. Okay, so now there's no screws on the back, so the top should just slide off. Yep, and then we can lift this off. And there's the guts of the recorder. 
you can see it's got a little battery for memory there to remember the time and date if it loses power and we've got the power cable and data cable here for the SATA hard drive of which I've got just to the side of me so where's the hard drive I'm going to be installing this is a Hitachi Desk Star these are very good reliable drives this is a 250 gigabyte variant if you're looking to purchase a drive for in one of these units though and don't already have one to use I recommend the Western Digital Purple ones, the WD Purple because these are designed for these particular types of units I think Seagate also do a, a surveillance line but anyway, let's get this drive mounted so we'll get the little bag of screws I'm going to say it's the silver ones because there's four of those okay and now lining up the hard drive with the holes on the underside if we look at the top you can see under the drive there's mounting holes that meets those four on the base of the unit so you just need to slip that in this is a bit of a fiddly task but once you get one in it becomes a lot easier and there we go can now just put all four screws in and tighten the drive up I believe those two black ones are probably spares for if you misplace the casing screws because they seem exactly the same but now the hard drive is installed in the unit you can also see that there's an additional SATA port this must be to add more than one hard drive inside the unit but due to the size of it you couldn't really unless you uh, modified the casing and made it external but anyway, let's get the top back on this thing and turn it on. So that's the hard drive installed and everything screwed back together. We can plug this thing in now and uh, give it a try. So I've now got everything together that's needed to test the unit out. Now given what these are used for, and that this is not even my personal one, this is going to somewhere else, I can't really show you much about the details behind it, setting it up with the mobile, etc and uh, positioning and operating with all the cameras on but what I can do is just show you a bit of a test setup here so I've got an old camera that I had lying around I've connected it up to this cable which you obviously need to do to carry the power and video from the camera wherever you position them and then this will connect to the unit you then power them via something like this which is a multiple ended power supply and I've connected the unit up to power, I've not yet plugged it in I've got a USB plugged in for the mouse to control it and I've got a VGA cable plugged in to this old computer monitor and that's where it's going to display so if I plug in the unit we should see live the power lights on you can hear the hard drive spinning up we should get a picture out of it any time now may take just a second to uh, warm up there we go the monitors coming on now the hard drive is likely to need formatting so we'll show you how to format the hard drive it will probably also open up an initial setup and I may have to blur out or skip a couple of steps because of privacy reasons this beeping can be normal because there is no video detected so now it started up it stopped beeping we can see all of the cameras displayed here we've got 1 through 16 I'm going to plug in and power up this camera just to show you that so now you can see the units on but there's no video showing obviously because I'm not connected power to the camera oh here we go this area is asking us to automatically format the hard drive so just click OK this will erase everything off the hard drive so make sure there's no data on it that you need what this does is completely overwrites the hard drive into a format that the recorder can support so now if we go to right click anywhere and go main menu it'll ask us to log in but just click OK because we don't have a password created yet Go to advanced and storage and you can see storage 11 
read and write status normal and we've got 232.88 gigabytes available to use so let's just cancel back out of that cancel out of that on that so now we can connect a camera so I will power up the camera and one of these should come on now whichever one the camera is plugged into number one so we can now see that this camera is working it's picking up okay it's got 960H resolution it's detected it as and everything's fine so now if you double click on this square it will make it full screen you can double click again to back out if we right click you also have these other options viewers one so that allows you to view just one camera or you can view four so you can have four on the screen at once view eight on the screen at once you can view nine on the screen at once or you can view 16 which is default depending on if you only want certain cameras on display if you right click you can also go on guide which guides you through the setup process of the recorder so this will ask you to set the time zone, the date, everything like that. It's currently the 27th of the 3rd and it is 14.06. Okay, click next. Click retry to retest the network. There's no network cable plugged in, so it will not detect one. So I'm just going to go with skip. Then it says thank you for choosing our products. And then you can click OK. You also highly recommend you go into the menu, go to advanced and account, and please change the admin password. So check off admin, go modify PWD. So put in the old password, which is nothing. Put in your new password here. Confirm your new password. You can press this to make them uppercase. And then click OK to change the password. I'm obviously not going to do that on video. You can now see that there's a blue record light on the front of the unit in addition to the red power light. That's because the hard drive formatted and everything's set up correctly. It's now recording from that camera. So let's watch something back. Okay, so to watch something back, if you right click, this is pretty much how you access everything. But you can go to playback and then it will load this screen here, which allows us to watch video back from the camera, things that have been recorded. So if we just hit play at the bottom, we can see that's now playing back from 1406, but the date was not set. So the time and date will not be quite right here. But we can next file, previous file, for fast player back, there we go. So if we fast forward this, you can see it's two times, four times, six times. You can see the mouse moving there. So I'll just fast forward this a bit, and we should see the point where the eye moved the camera. We saw it 30 minutes here. This will show us what's been recorded. We can drag along and watch it if we want to. So let's just put this back to normal speed. I'm just going to click along this bar, and I can scan through the video. So I'll put this camera down just to show that that is not what's picking up now. Okay, so you can see it's playing back video anyway. And you can skip through each camera independently using this channel list here. If you check sync mode down at the bottom here, if we stop and check sync mode, this will sync all of the channels and cameras. So if you have multiple of them together, so it will speed up and slow down. If you don't have sync mode checked, you'll notice there's multiple channels here, channel one, two, three, four. You can actually Click in the bottom right corner 30 minutes to make this bigger. So if we play and make this bigger, you can actually change the speed and where each camera is looking down below here. So I'm just going to skip these to some random times. So I've just skipped these to some random times. I'm then going to view 4, channel 1 through 4. And we can see each of them showing a different time on the display even though they've not all got video it does record the time and date into the video so these are now playing back at different points if I stop and then put in sync mode then play I'll make this bigger again 30 minutes if I view 4 again 
You can see they're all on the same time, and when I jump, they all jump together. To get out of this, you just hit the red cross in the top right corner, and it takes you back to the home screen, which is now the live feed. So anyway, that's a quick overview of the basics in one of these units. Just have a play around with it. Basically, right click, it gets you to everything you are going to need. The main menu has then obviously got other ways to access these things. But there's a lot of customizability. So just play with it and set it up what best suits you. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please leave a like down below. Any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll try and answer them. And remember to subscribe to my channel for future random technology videos just like this one. Thanks for watching.